It's time to dish with D. That's me. Thank you for on this video, making yourself a priority. I am Denise. It is our Wednesday wisdom for this month. I do believe I forgot to film last month. Yeah, because I was thinking March and I'm like, no, Denise, you're in April. But I think I forgot to do Marches. It happens. <laughs> what do I say? Hot Mess Express. So we're doing it today and this is a video where you ask the questions and i give you the answers again are my answers right oh look i have one eye that has eyeliner one eye that doesn't okay there you go see the difference <laughs> do, are my answers correct they're correct for me do i know everything i don't i'm not going to sit here and tell you that this is what you should do because it's not my place to say that. I give these answers based on my experience and what has helped me. And maybe it will resonate with you a little bit or maybe you'll get a little bit something from it. That's all I want. I, I don't want you to go, oh my gosh, Denise was so right. Or she's right, I'm doing it wrong. What's right for you is wrong for me. What's wrong for me is right for you. You know, find your right. You know, but I love that you can try different things. That's what I want for you. Try and explore the world out there. Don't take somebody's on YouTube's opinion. Figure it out. Ask your doctor. Ask your medical professional. I am not one, nor do I play one on television. So let's get to our Wednesday with some questions. I posted in my Facebook group, and you guys ask, and let's see. I didn't look at any of them yet, so I did put the post in twice because I did notice there was only a few comments last night, and I like, well, I need more than one or two. It's going to be a real short video. Not that I want it to be real long because I tend to talk. All right, not really a question. Have I have one guide who weighs me, not only says I'm up or down, but also announces my weight. Oh, I don't like that. I'm not comfortable with my number. Well, sort of. But 100 pounds ago, I would have not have been. Should I just ignore it? No. You need to tell the coach in the group that she should not be announcing your weight. What the heck? You're not supposed to announce somebody's weight. That's just rude. Is she stick? Because people like that tend to be like, mm, yeah, no, no. Your weight is between you. If you want to share it, that's up to you. She should not be announcing your weight. I don't care if you're 108 pounds. It's none, none of your business what anybody's weight is. So, yeah, I would talk to the, um, the coach and say, or you could email the company directly. See, I used to belong to a franchise, so I know how I could, I could actually email the franchise directly. Um. But yeah, definitely. If you want to, you know, say it to her, you absolutely can. You're within your right to say, excuse me, but I don't want my weight announced. She should know that. That's a no-no. So yeah, you need to tell her. What snacks do you suggest I eat that aren't loaded with sugar? I'm feeling bloated. <sighs> snacks that make you... Well, I always say if you're bloated... And that sounds really rude to say, but for me, again, it might not help you. But for me, when I'm bloated, what helps me is things like fiber, fruit, vegetables. Things that have water in them. Um, drink more water will help. Because it's funny, because when, you, when you're when you bloated, you never think to drink more. Like, why would I do that? And in order to flush it out, you have to drink more. I know it sounds really weird, but that's what always helped my, you know, me. Again, you might not be that person, but I tend um, to go with snacks that are fruit related and vegetable related. You know, I have a lot of dips. I love getting my dips, love making my own dips, getting my carrot chips, my mini bell peppers, my cucumbers, my radishes. That's what I dip on. And they're not loaded in anything but anything that's natural. Um, I mean, you could go for like rice cakes and nut butter is always a favorite snack of mine. But I always feel like like vegetables and fruit are, are, are made of water. So they would maybe help flush you out. And that's what I would suggest. And of course, fruit is naturally sugar. It is a carb. So you may want to go with the veggie area or, you know, like it depends. Like we get so offended with the word carbohydrate, like oh my God, it's carb, you know. But remember, a processed carb versus a natural carb. Fruits are naturally carbs. It's natural sugar. Like, that's why when you look at things, it'll say sugar and added sugar. So if you have something that has sugar that naturally occurs, it's natural. So I tend to look at things that have added sugar rather than natural sugar. I, I buy the dried fruit at the Dollar Tree. Those little dried um, fruits that they have, they have ones that have added sugar, ones that don't. I tend to use them without, without the added sugar. I put it in yogurt. I don't feel guilty about it. 
it's the added sugar that I try to stay away from. Are you still using the Trainist app? Yes, I am. I'm currently, well, last week didn't count because I wasn't tracking on anything because, I don't know, I guess I took a holiday. Who knew? But yes, I am back to training, tra tracking full-time on the Trainist app. That is an app. I will link it down below. It is a free app. Um, they were, reached out to me if I could share it with my community. It's free. They are still in the beta stages, so it is still an app that is in development. So not everything is ready. But your food tracking is ready. And um, when you log in and create your account, it gives you um, your macros that they want. You know, you also can adjust them if you don't like what they pick. You could always adjust your macros and calories to what you think you should. I tend to go with what they suggest because it's based on my age, height, weight, activity. So I think that's, it's funny because when we see like this high number, it's like, should we be eating that? Well, yeah. The thing of it is we're so geared to not eating enough that I think we think that eating 1300 calories is a lot. And let me tell you something, it's not. So Yes, I'm still using the Trainist app. I will link it down below. It is totally free. They give me a referral friend link. It doesn't cost you anything. It just shows who came from me and my suggestion. That doesn't cost you anything. You have nothing to lose. You got nothing to lose. Just remember, it's still in the beta stages, and they just added check-in, so you could check in. You could weigh in every week, and you can do what it was really nice. They tell me it's on MyFitnessPal, but remember, this is a free app. MyFitnessPal for all the bells and whistles and the scanner, you got to pay for it. So this is free, and they told me all these things will remain free. Like I said, was this like scanner going to remain free? Because I know it's not on my fitness pal. And I said, no, it's going to remain free. And there's no ads, so I'm hoping that stays that way too. That's really fun. But they also have a progress where you put your measurements in there. You could put progress pictures in there as well. So it might help you because sometimes we don't see it on the scale. But when we see it in a picture, like, wow, look at that. I am looking toner, you know. This has one on my nerves. So, yes, I am still currently using the Trainist app. My hope is to go back to Weight Watchers tracking when I get to where I need to that 10 pounds because I can't do it on this program. You know, you, you have to, you know, cut your losses and stop following a plan that's not working. Yes, I love Weight Watchers. Yes, I lost my weight on Weight Watchers. Yes, it's an easy plan. But when it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And that's anything. Anything at one point, it works until it doesn't. That's when you move on. And maybe it's you and your boredom or your complacency with a plan. Don't feel like you can't change. Doesn't mean you can't go back, but right now you need something different. There's no shame in that. I don't like when people bite your head off when you say you don't do Weight Watchers. Well, it works until it doesn't. Not with anything. Anything. You know, you, you have to be in that plan. You have to mentally be in it. And if you're not, it's not going to work. So let's go to the next batch of questions. What do you find easier to do? Count calories, count macros. Honestly, I like seeing the breakdown um, because all the studies have shown if you eat a higher diet in protein and lower in fat, you'll lose weight. I find that, yes, that's my diet. I like a low fat, high fiber, low um, high protein diet. Now, with that being said, my protein goal is not out, out of the stratosphere because I know I would have to be taking multiple supplements to reach that protein goal. And I'm not doing that. I could do it for a while. Sure I could. But can I do it sustainably? No. So my, my protein goal is set by the app. I think it's set for 100 to 80 to 100. That is something I can do with food. So that is, you know, and yeah, I love the occasional supplement. You know me, I'm a pro premier protein gal. I got bars, but I don't want to have to have multiple in the same day. I don't enjoy them that much in the same day. I mean, I, grab a drink. Yeah, I'm all for that. But to sit there and have to reach an unrealistic protein goal, I know I can't afford it, nor do I want to. And it's just not sustainable because that's the whole, this is the answer that you're all waiting for. The whole secret is sustainability. We all could lose it. How do we keep it off realistically? So that's how I, so yeah, when you count calories and count macros, my app does both. So I have to put in once. So I like seeing the breakdown. Um, calories don't really tell you anything. Calories don't tell you anything. It has 35 calories. Well, what is in that 35 calories? Whereas points kind of do when a higher item is higher in points, there's a different background to it. There's more fat. There's more of this. There's more of that. When it's lower in points, there's more protein. There's more fiber. So yeah, I kind of like seeing the breakdown. I like seeing where my fat is. I like seeing where my 
protein is and where my carbs are. Now, again, I do not do like a low carb ish diet. My carbs are 120. I mean, technically that is low carb, but it's not the keto low carb where they're under 75 and 50. Again, sustainability. Could I do that for a while? I sure could. Could I do it sustainably? I cannot. I like having crackers. I like having bread. I like having fruit. I like having a little bit, a one of it every day. So for me to keep, you know, and now I also was saying that if I have a high carb breakfast, I don't have any carbs at lunch and I save a little bit for dinner. So I could, you know, because my overnight oats is probably over 50 carbs for that. That's a lot for one meal. And what they always try to say is try to keep your protein at 35 per meal. Try to keep your carbs at 35 per meal. That is like a normal clip to, to shoot for. But yes, I like to see both, if that makes sense. Is one easier than the other? No. It's all going into an app. I mean, unless you're doing it on paper, the app does all the work. So I just like seeing the breakdown. I like seeing, um, it helps maybe with your choice at like, say, dinner, or maybe if you want to have a little dessert, you look at those macros. Ooh, I could, I could have a little yogurt. It'll help my protein go up. You know, there's all, all things like that helps, like what would help that? And then you think about what foods are rich in that. So that is, yeah. So I definitely think there's no sense counting calories if you're not going to count macros. It just doesn't, to me, it's, you're blowing hot air. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't, you know, you need to know what you're eating, not just a number, if that makes sense. Lose it gives me so many calories based on how I answer things. I find it always to have at least 600 left and they figure in my exercise. Is this all right? I am satisfied with my eating. Um, if you eat, if you're exercising significantly, that is why you're getting calories. Now, honestly, I don't <laughs> exercise that hard to get that many calories. So if you're extending that much energy and that's what a calorie is, is an energy, then they for sustainability for your health they want that amount of calories to be ingested now do you have to eat all 600 now but i would eat a little bit more but you could also fill your foods up during the day if you see you always have those calories left with higher caloric foods like instead of a low fat cheese go for a regular fat cheese instead of a zero fat yogurt have a you know two or four percent yogurt same thing with cottage cheese you know you could make up calories really quickly with dairy with breads instead of having the 647 bread have a dave's killer bread you know have a beautiful piece of sourdough bread which is fantastic and a lot of stores have it fresh now and i weigh mine and it just gives me the correct number because it'll say it's x amount but all you know all slices are different so i need to you know but definitely um you are exercising so you People who exercise heavily to get that amount of, point, amount of points that need to eat more. That's how your body works. Your body needs that for health. It's not healthy to eat below that. Now, if you're eating, if that's the 600 you're getting based on your exercise, eh, it might not be too bad. But if you're eating way below and you're gaining 600 calories for exercise, you need to eat a little bit better. Just eat a little bit, like I said, higher in protein higher in fat, it'll, it'll bump those calories up a little bit. You know, like I said, don't eat if you're not hungry, but when you're eating, eat denser food, if that makes sense. How do you keep your skin so pretty, your lips so shiny? <laughs> oh, yes. Um, I get that question a lot. Um, I take collagen. I drink my collagen. There's two different kinds of collagen supplements I've been using. I've shared them on the channel. So I don't, they're upstairs. I, I didn't know that was how I would have brought them down. Obvi. I drink the Obvi collagen protein drink. Now, it's collagen protein, which is not a complete protein. So, it's not the protein you're using for when you're working out. Like, muscle protein. There's two different kinds of protein. Don't ask me the difference. I just know there's two different coming. Again, not a professional. But I know that it's not a complete protein. But it's still protein. It's still good for your body. Um, I take the Obvi chocolate Entenmann's donut. And I will say, especially when you're losing weight, collagen helps with skin, helps tone and gives a little bit of skin more elasticity so you could, it'll retract a little bit. Collagen helps that. Collagen helps for the fine lines on your face. Now, we're not talking creases. We're talking fine lines. If you have fine lines, collagen will help that. Um, I also take the Bellway Beauty Fiber. I had taken that many years ago. What I love about Bellway Fiber, Beauty Fiber, is it's collagen and fiber. And let me tell you something, back when I was on Weight Watchers in the beginning and I took it, it made things go a lot easier for me. 
you know what I'm talking about. <sighs> but yeah, I love, um, I'm back with Bellway and I still take the Entenmann's Obvi Collagen. I will link them both down below. If you want to check out Bellway, I also have the, um, which is new, which I've never had. Somebody asked me why I'm taking both. Well, because I've never had their, um, their fiber gummies. So I was trying their fiber gummies out. Um, would I order the fiber gummies again? I don't know. I mean, if I'm taking the fiber supplement, I don't think I need the gummies. Um, I would have one or the other. Just depends on, but I enjoy their beauty collagen. It's, it's helped me with bloating. It's helped me with skin. It's helped me with regularity, like crazy. Like I'd forgotten how much it helps until I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot about how well keeps me regular because when you're on a weight loss journey, you're not regular anymore. And my lips, um, I use the it cosmetics je ne sais quoi. I know that's French. It is a lip. They have a stick and a serum. Um, QVC was having a bundle a couple years ago and I got an auto delivery and with COVID and stuff, I got so backed up with it. I stopped it. I still have one pack left. So I will link that on Amazon. I think Amazon does have it. Um, I don't think QVC has the bundle anymore, but I love the Cosmetic Je ne sais quoi. I love it. It gives my lips such a beautiful sheen and it keeps them healthy and keeps me from getting um, chapped lips. So yes, I love that. And there's a little company that's in my area that you no sense mentioning because you guys can't get it. Well, you could because you could order them online. It's a place called For Body Sake. I don't think I ran them down here. Um, they have just kind of lips. Um, it's like it has a hoba. It has avocado oil in it. It has. It's just. It's. She makes a really beautiful lip conditioner, and it is so fantastic. They just. They had a big store and they closed it, and they, I have to go back to their little store. But I love that. So I will link their website. Um, I love, and I will link my favorite products from them. But they have really nice stuff. You can order them online if you choose. But this is not a sell. This is not a sell video. But hey, thank you. So yeah, definitely a good skincare routine is imperative. Um, right now I'm using the Juice um, Collagen. I can't remember what it's called. Juice Beauty. And I got them in a subscription box. There, there's the there's the benefits of a subscription box. I'm not paying $85 for the serum. I'm not doing that. But when it comes in a $50 subscription box like with six other products, okay, I'll try it. And I really, really like it. Oh my gosh, I really like it. It was a serum. So I did invest in the eye cream and the um, face cream and absolutely am hooked. So I will link them, their website down below. I absolutely love it. Um, I mean, just under my eyes alone, like the, the tightens underneath and it just makes me feel, you know, I just love it. And again, would I have tried it? Mm -mm. I wouldn't I would have never paid that for a serum. I'm paying it now because I know it works, but you want to try something for like 60 or $80. It's not happening. Mm -mm. You can read all the reviews you want unless somebody, you know, you see the, you know, the, what is it? The, um, it's in the pudding. The, something's in the pudding the proof's in the pudding that's it the proof's in the pudding and I was like and I love the way it, it tingles when I put it on it's it's just fantastic so I will link that below as well I just like I said I'm hooked and if you go to um Target here's a little tip Target has in their what do they have um, Ulta in Target now they have a kit a juice maybe if I remember to link it from Target I uh, they have a I think a month's supply of each. You get the cream, you get the eye cream, and you get the serum. And you could try, I think. I got it on sale for like 30 bucks. I think it's 50 bucks. But um, that's how I knew I wanted everything. I'm like, well, I'll pay 30, let me see. Because I knew I liked the serum already. And I love it. So I will definitely link. That's what I'll do. I'll link the, the um, Ulta. You know, the, the three little samples. And you can see the brand. And um, we'll do that. But thank you. <laughs> Takes work. <laughs> Psychologically speaking, what do you think is the most important thing to be successful at weight loss? Psychologically. Well, I think our psychologically alone is we don't think we can do it. And we can. There's work involved. And I think psychologically speaking, we don't want to do it. It's not going to be easy. You're going to have some really bad days. You're going to feel really depressed because you have this, as I call it, love affair with food. <laughs> this is what I had. And to not eat it as much and, and often as you like, 
that's hard. Especially for somebody like me who's always had, you know, my weight issues since she was in puberty. So since I was 11, to be like, oh my gosh, I can't have that. I can't have more. I overate and I was a chronic overeater and nobody growing up, nobody ever told me that. Nobody ever said, Denise, you eat too much. Denise, you're, you know, you need to lose some weight. My parents, they, didn't, they loved me. I mean, not that they were, I mean, did they have, they had, they weren't, they were obese. I wouldn't say they were morbidly obese. They had some weight to lose. Yes. But never, ever was told that. So I think growing up, I have a positive attitude in the way that I look. So that's hard trying to fight the fact that, well, nobody told me, I, you know, we have to, you know, realize that food is good. Food is allowed. Like, how could I, and, and the thing of it is, how do you fit food in that you want? Like, I'm not a person who believes in restrictive. I don't want to, I'm not going to have that. I don't have candy. I don't have cake. I don't have cookies. I don't need it. I love when they say that. I don't need it. Nobody needs it. We all want it. There's the difference when you, when you don't realize it's not the need, it's the want. I think the want is harder than the need. How do I fit my food that I want in? And that's why you see a lot of the recipes here on the channel are just geared to the food that I like to eat. It's my channel, my food. So yes, you'll see me making cakes, you know, but I like the idea of just having one piece. I have a problem with restraining myself. So yeah, if I, I can make these recipes in, in bulk, but I can't have them around. So there's no sense having something that, that would just cause me undue stress. So that's why I make little mini loaves, one and done's, whoopie pies, mug cakes, big gigantic protein cookies. That Once the cookie's done, it's done. You can't go back because it's not there. And I'm not making it again. So yeah, psychologically speaking, it has to be know the food that you want to eat. Don't think that I should eat salad. I mean, no, because that's not sustainable for you. Can you have salad? Sure. But to depend on salad for your nutrition all day? Nobody lived on just salad. Yes, you like cake. Yes, you like cookies. Yes, you like chocolate. How do I get it to fit it in? How? And there comes the puzzle. And there comes the challenge. And I found different companies that make no sugar chocolate, like Chuck Zero. And Skinny Licious. I think it's not, it's not, I don't think it's Skinny. And these come individually wrapped. And that's what's, I won't open to now. If you're a person that can't help that, then I find um, as long as I'm able to have it, it's there. I don't desire to binge on it. Like, I get those little tubs of cookie dough that I showed you last week about what I eat in a day. I love them. And because I allow myself to have a tablespoon of it every day, I don't feel the need to eat the whole jar when I sit there. There's no reason for me to eat the whole jar. I'm going to have it tomorrow. When we restrict ourselves and we treat ourselves like we're on a diet, that's psychologically what we think. We feel like we're never going to have it. So when we see it, we basically eat our face off. Because I'm never going to have this again. I better eat it all. No, you're going to have You're going to have things like macaroni and cheese. You're going to have things like pasta. You're going to have things like bread. You're going to have things like cake and cookies and chocolate. How do we fit those in? It's always been my, my search to find the lowest point things, lowest calorie things, but still good. Remember, just because it's low in points, calories, and macros doesn't mean it's good. You got to like it. You got to like it. I don't care if it's got the best ingredients I don't care how clean it is. If you don't like it, you're not going to eat it. It's just, that's just human nature. And when you realize that, you know, moderation is key. Portion size is key. That is how you sustainably lose weight. And you don't restrict yourself. And that's the one good thing about Weight Watchers. Everything is on the table. And that's how it should be. Everything needs to be on the table because that's life. Hard sometimes. Sometimes you need to have people around you that'll support you and then encourage you. And that's why we do the lives here for a little bit of somebody who gets it. Somebody who's like, yeah, I totally get that. Yeah. And, and why meetings were so key for Weight Watchers that you go to that meeting looking to see the people there, to hear them, to have, tell them your problems and have them listen because nobody can listen as much as your peeps at your weight loss meeting will and get it and go, oh yeah. And sympathize with you because People would say, oh, just stop. Just pull yourself off the table. See, those are people you can't talk to because they don't get it.
and they're not going to. And that when you realize that too, like unless you've had a weight issue, you're not going to get it. You're not. So I think when you relink, re relink them, that they're like, yeah, they're not going to get it. They're not. So, you know, to me is be who you are, eat the foods that you like. That's the key. You have to eat the foods that you like. Like me, like I don't like ice cream. That's something I gravitate towards. Never was. But people love ice cream. So they're making these creamies that get them through. So there's the thing. Find the food that you like. How could you make it low in points, calories, and macros? It's a challenge. And it has to taste good. Like I say, a lot of things that you see here I've tasted. I've made many a thing here you've never seen because it didn't taste good. And I'm not putting something out that I don't like. Nope. 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 Now yesterday, where will I put this video at? Maybe today's vlog. I don't know. I made another little protein loaf. Now I made one last week, which I posted yesterday. And yesterday's what I ate in a day. I did it on Instagram Reels. And I made a chocolate one today. Or yesterday. That might go up today. I know. It just depends on what day I'm filming. Because I don't really know what day it is. So, sorry about that. I'm like, well, so I filmed it yesterday for today's... I filmed it yesterday for today's vlog that goes up tomorrow. Talk about confusing. But I made a chocolate one. And uh, I thought it was good. You know, I always have to have somebody else taste test it. Because Peter's my protein mint person. And he liked it. I use this uh, Clean Simple Eats chocolate mint cookie. Because I just want something different. You know, I've made... You know, but do we have a chocolate mint protein bread? So, the amount of protein in that bread is probably... That's a mini loaf. Definitely a one and done. I would say it's probably at least 25 grams of protein. I didn't point it out yet. And points-wise, it's probably one, four, maybe five points. I did put chocolate chips in there because why not? Lilies. Again, there is something that I absolutely love. Sugar-free lilies, chocolate chips made with stevia. Honestly, I love them. I, I just makes my life you know, makes me feel decadent eating a few chocolate chips in something. So I hope that answered your question. I did go off a little bit, but how do you figure the amount of calories are needed to lose weight? How do I know where to start? Well, I will tell you that the app tells you that based on everything you put into it. Um, you know, you, you now somebody suggested you go see a dietitian. You can if you could afford it. Um, you can, there's tons of resources online that will give you that. Um, like I said, the Trainist app puts that in there. And like I said, and, and if you link up your exercise device to your any app that you use, it sees your activity so it knows to increase your calories if you're working out and burning X amount of calories. You have to, they you know, any thing they want, those things replenish if you're really burning excessively. I don't burn excessively, so um, that that's you know any kind of app that you use for weight loss, except Weight Watchers. Well, Weight Watchers gives you points, so it does. So it figures out and it gives you the points. Not everybody starts with twenty three points. Depends on your age, height, and weight. It'll decide how many points you have, which doesn't necessarily tell you calories. There's the downside of. Everybody's into calories and macros now. It's the big thing. It's like everything else. There's always a big thing going on. It's calories. It's macros. It's whole foods. I mean, pick your poison, you know, pick your poison, but follow it. You know, it's like, oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. Everything is good in moderation. I say that all the time. So there's lots of, um, like I said, if you pick a app that has calories or macros in it, it will figure those for you. And most times you could adjust them based on that. Talk to your doctor is always a good thing. He will probably refer you to a nutritionist. I don't know if I would really do anything that any, you know, you want to do somebody that has a medical background. You know, like that's why I didn't take that course because... I don't want people to say, oh, you're talking to that girl on YouTube. Yeah. I don't want to be that girl on YouTube with a certificate. No, not for me. I'm not here to tell anybody what to eat. It's not my place. But there is definitely things out there you could find that. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this week's Wednesday Wisdom. Ooh, it was a lot of questions today. And if you are new here, welcome. If you not hit that subscribe button, join us here at Dish With D. Remember, these are just my opinions. You can do whatever you want. You know, like this is just my opinion on these questions. I would love to know your opinions on the comments below. Let me know if you any of these things that you would like to answer. 
And if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, join us here at Tishwiti. We do realistic weight loss chit chats. So that's something that you like, hit that subscribe button to our community here. I will dish with you another day. Thanks for watching.